G'day everyone. We're finally getting away again and today we're going to a really nice location called Kingfisher Pools. It's a brand new spot. I haven't been there before and I'm really excited to get there. The day is absolutely perfect. You literally couldn't ask for a better day. I might even get a chance to have a swim. It is pools, it's water, it's a really, really nice spot and I really hope that, um, that everyone enjoys it. So, I'm on the walking trail now. I mean, the views already are, are quite nice. We've got about a one and a half kilometre walk. Very excited, we should be there shortly. Not going to waste too much footage on the walk in, unless there's something worth seeing. So I'll see you when we get there. Here's to another great trip. Getting nice and close now, and I'll tell you what, for a winter's day, which it technically is, we've got a bit of heat going on here. It's a decent breeze, the wind seemed to follow me around lately. And um, found a nice little creek down there, which I might show you on the way back. In a pinch, it's a camping spot, but I want to go to the real, the main event. But we're almost there. So, onwards and upwards. So here we are, we've made it. Here's the official campground. Good straight stick right there. Oh, this ain't why we're here. We want to go a little deeper. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm swimming. Look at that. All underwater, so this whole area has been undercut by water. How awesome. What a beautiful spot. Now, unfortunately, these were the rocks I wanted to camp on, but I'm not so sure they're campable. A little bit too jagged. Really awesome stuff. Now, clearly these areas get covered in water from time to time. Hasn't been a flood through here for a while though, so they're quite, quite dry. I mean, I really could camp here. We'll get right here. Or even up there. Alright. This is really nice. I'm gonna have to Chop off my pack, find a spot and uh, enjoy this. What a fantastic location. Nice. What a spot. I love it. I'm trying to work out where the best place to camp is. It could be up there on the rocks or on the track in a clearance. By the way, wow. So, I'm strongly considering, because I really don't want to camp up there in family fun day Sunday campgrounds. It's a bit boring. I'm strongly considering camping there 
the actual pools are there. Obviously when there's a flood or when that river overflows, this becomes a raging torrent, but that ain't happening today. There's no rain forecast whatsoever anywhere in the area. A bit of wind only. Right there. I mean, the ground's not completely flat, but what an awesome spot. Could be a little snaky. As far as fires go, it's extremely safe. It's just not exactly flat, and I'm not sure how much of an impact it's going to have on me. But as far as spots go, did I say ball buster? Those of you who aren't Australian might not know that term actually. Ball buster means you're going to, it's an awesome spot. A ball buster of a something is a really good something. You may bust the balls, so to speak. Fill in the blanks. This spot's got a really nice feel. It's always a big thing for me. The spot feels nice. This feels... It's also the day. Look at the sky. It's just a day and a half. I could even go and swim that way. I'll be honest with you, I got lost a couple of times coming in, took a wrong turn and just bush bashed my way through it. Came out the other end and all good. Can't wait just to settle in here. So far, I saw a couple of people coming in here, but so far I've got this place to myself. Which again is fantastic. I mean, you can't argue that that's the nicest spot. I'm going to go down and check out that floor out here. So I'm lying down on the rock to test it out, and there is a strip here. I can totally do. That's just tripped you out, probably. I can totally sleep here. Have a look at these rocks. Hopefully the camera picks it up. Look at that. Sand and um, some old pippies, so this is definitely on the water a lot of the year. If I was surviving, this is where I'd sleep, under there. It's flat. Yep, I've made the decision. I'm sleeping on the rocks, down here. It's going to be colder at night. I've bought my extra jumper, I've bought my thermals. Um, I can't pass it up. It's too good an opportunity. The water's freezing. But I, uh, I never go for swims. I've got to do it. It's got to be done. All right, let's get moving. I've worked out the spot. Let's set up the new tent. That's right, I have the new tent. And I'm very excited to use it. So let's do it. Alright, so the new tent. It's an REI half dome two. It's an REI half dome two plus. Silver mist colour, which is basically purple and grey. Now, given the location, it's a no peg job today. And uh, the key is going to be positioning the tent in the right spot so that I've got that little, that little channel to sleep on. I mean, actually, you know, right here is pretty flat as well. So if that fails, I'm bringing it right here. Actually, is this even better? I think right here is better. Hmm. Kind of means there's a little part of the water there. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have a think. There's a seat right here. We're gonna have to think about it. All right, yeah, we're gonna change spots. We were gonna be over there, now we're gonna be right here. I've got a sitting rock, it's perfect. Um, there's a water puddle there, but if I scrape that away, that can be my little um, fire pit. So that'll take care of that. Oh, I'm excited, this is going to be awesome. 
kit weighed in at 17 kilos today. With some of the new gear in it. It could have been lighter. But that's okay. Alright, fast forward time. Okay, so there's definitely frogs in this area. I've seen a dead frog over there, so we're going to get a nice soundtrack tonight. Um, once I worked out the angles of the poles, that took all of the 40 seconds to put the pegs in. Now it's just a matter of hooking up, strapping in, and strapping on. I've always wanted a tent that didn't have to go poles through the sleeves. I hate poles through the sleeves. I just remembered. I did forget something. I bought a little picnic blanket ground sheet in case I was going to camp on rocks. So I just got to lift the tent out of the way and put that down. because there's these little orange tabs inside so you just got to find them and put them on and then you know you've set up correctly. Alright, as great as that spot is, the lack of anchor points to tie down the tent, it's made it a no-go. It's just, it's just, it's not, it's not a good setup. So we're going to try the secondary spot over there. If that doesn't work, we're going to have to go to the family campground. Happy fun day. This is the first. Not the most exciting spot, but definitely safer. Huh. Well, that's been an interesting afternoon. I got the tent set up and uh, got some really nice breeze happening through here, so the ventilation is very good. Um, set up quite easy. There's some cool storage pockets around the place. Um, I'm not really using it to its full capacity today because I've only got... I've got that door open with the vestibule out, but obviously there's no space there to actually truly utilize it. And I'm just letting this one dangle because it's just trees right there. And it's not a big enough wind to really worry. I like the tent. So definitely not my preferred location, unfortunately, but I mean, it's still a stone's throw. 
So I'm just having a bit of a break now. I just had a well-earned kiwi fruit, my first food for the day. It's about 2.30. There's a few people around. Uh, the tent literally, after I moved it, I saw a couple of folks and I was talking to them and a gust of wind came through and the tent literally went flying through the air. And I had to go chasing it on the edge of the cliff and I grabbed it just as I was about to drop off the edge. I shit you not. Um, to be honest, it was freaking embarrassing, man. I didn't anticipate talking to people as the tent was just freshly placed down. <sighs> Dory, they don't know I'm filming for this channel. That was an anonymous incident. <laughs> So, it's the old usual now where I want to go for a swim, but it feels like too much effort and too cold. So, I'm going to put my shorts on. I'm going to go down to the waters and uh, maybe just wait about a bit. See how it feels. Just freshen up. The old freshen up. Like, I think once again, the swim ain't happening. I've got to do that. It's going to, be a, it's going to be a great moment when I eventually do a full-on swim in a camp. But I just feel like today's not the day. But hey, you never know. You never know. So I don't know if I'm going to set the campfire up near here, or if I'm going to set it up back down on that other spot. I'll work that out, but I think first things first, let's just get a bit of comfort happening. So, time to relax and enjoy the spot a bit. I'll set up in here later. Well, ain't that bitch. My thong, right foot. My wife's thong, right foot. I'm going to try and walk with it anyway. Let's see how we go. Slippery man. Too cold. Fail. I am never going to get to go swimming, but it's winter, I mean, I'm not sure what I expect to be honest. Hands are numb, that quickly. You know when you go to a party and there's the ice bucket and you put your hands in to get the beer all the way down the bottom and by the time your hand comes out it's frozen and red and cold? That's exactly that water. Like, not one degree difference. Exactly that water. I'm literally surprised it's not frozen. So there's some big news in our life at the moment. I just spotted one of my bags down there. That's not the big news. I'm gonna have to go get it. My um, something to do with my tent. I'm gonna have to go get that. That's not the big news. It's good news, but it's not the big news. Uh, as you, if you're a regular to my channel, you will know that uh, that we got one. Papa Samuel, he's about one year, one month. And uh, my wife's four months pregnant with number two. So, yay us. The family is expanding. So, flashy lights and celebrations. And ever since Hanging Rock, every time there's a wind, I'm paranoid that thing's gonna fall over. So yeah, so, so yay for us. Family is expanding and growing. The baby's healthy, we don't know the sex of it yet. The VIP is really nice. I'm going to get that apparently it's
search for firewood brings you to some beautiful spots. if you can hear it but there's three guys down on the rocks singing and playing guitars it's creating a really nice backdrop for just sitting and chilling very cool time to chop some wood I don't want to kill him. No, that isn't. That's about all I'm going to have for tonight. Not much. I'm not doing a big fire night anyway. These really help. Banks your heads. Dry it up and old. Where's some living ones? Here we go. They dry up. They're really good for starting and uh, well, keeping fires, early fires lit. There's plenty of them here if I need them. Ready made tins are right here. No need to even go anywhere. One stop shop. They're still singing and it's still awesome. We'll have fire, no worries. And I didn't have to chop down a single tree. All this was found, scavenged. So that's uh, nice, really good. So the sun's going down, it's about 4.30. My soundtrack continues. I'm gonna have to give them a nice round of applause when they leave. Got my fire ready to go. In the kit, I've got eggs and halloumi. I've got some fruit and a whole variety of snicks and snacks. Um, but I've got something different today. Yeah, obviously I'm, you know, I eat ketogenic diet, vegetarian. And I found this. Basically just cauliflower. Cut up to make small pieces like rice. You can do really good things to it. It's uh, very low carb, it's awesome. Just gonna mix in some pasta sauce. Little satchel, little satchel. I know I'm all excited about my satchel. I got a bit of um, butter and cheese to mix through. And uh, that's an experiment because normally this stuff goes good with the old Asian flavors, soy sauce, all that kind of stuff. But that's my dinner tonight. Probably got between half an hour and an hour of light left. I'm itching to start this fire, but I'm not gonna get cracking too soon on it. Awesome day. Probably one of the most relaxing camps I've ever had. I've done pretty much nothing bushcraft at all. I've um, explored, tried to swim. Actually, I had a really good chat with a couple, who knows, guys, you might see this 
How you doing? Um, yeah, they was passing through. They lived in the area and uh, told me about some really nice areas around here, some nice waterfalls and some other bips and bops. I think this area is going to be regular. As I always say, some of the best things about going out into the into the bush is that you just get to meet some cool people. So hopefully they found the channel and leave a comment, guys, if you did. Yeah, really nice day. I've really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to tonight. I don't know why. The new tents are cracker. It's really nice and aerated in there. Um, it's not getting stuffy at all, but it's been in the sun all day. So that's a really good sign. It's just nice to get out. It's really nice to get out. I'm looking forward to waking up to this tomorrow morning. Weird. I swear, I'm so paranoid that's going. Because if it goes stuck in now, it's going over the edge again. So yeah, life is pretty good right now. Life is pretty good. I think I'm going to come back to this area, not this specific spot, but just places in this area. Some of them may remain unnamed. I don't like to. Bert, or as Samuel says, but, So yeah, really good. Because I'm holding out on the fire, I'm holding out the food, which has got a bit of a headache, but that means that when I eat it, it's gonna be all the more sweet. I'm gonna take people to play guitar all the time when I go camping. It's awesome. They're filming too. I should ask them their YouTube. I can cross promote, cross contaminate. They're getting a bit crazy down there. I'm gonna have to go and start a mosh pit, I think. The only problem with having them there is that I can't play my music. Now, obviously I've got another album to listen to today. It's an Aussie band. And if you're a fan of uh, In Flames or Shadows Fall or As I Lay Dying, any of that kind of, not new, no, metalcore, you know, new wave metalcore kind of sound, they're actually really good. Um, I've listened to a couple of their tracks on YouTube, on the YouTubes, and I like what I hear, but now I've got the album and I want to get cracking on it, but um, I don't want to disturb their, their music making. So, uh, so I'll listen to that a bit later tonight by Starline. I'll sit out here, look up at the stars and rock the out. Yeah. Tell you what, I think the next trip's going to be back to Wadigan's. It's weird, I've got urges to go there, man. I want to go back. We have to go back. What TV show is that from? I know one subscriber who's going to know that. And if you don't comment and let's say the show is from, I'm going to be very disappointed in you, buddy. We have to go back.